Youngstown Phantoms post-game interviews are presented by the YMCA. Brad, your thoughts on the game? Um, you know, I, I thought it was pretty flat for, for probably 25, 30 minutes there. Um, so special teams became involved, and I didn't feel like either team really generated a ton on, you know, when they were a man up. So, you know, there wasn't a ton of fluid plays, I guess, being made. And then uh, through the second, I, I felt like we were on our heels for a good majority of that second period. And, you know, the guys held the fort, and we got a timely goal. You know, we didn't get a, a ton of opportunities there in the second. And then in the third, I thought we played a little bit more on our toes. Um, you know, just force plays more, and and also we're better with the puck. You know, I, I felt like there was a lot of a lot of balancing and poor poor decisions, I guess, made from our end. Um, and then uh, I thought Dallas uh, was good in that, so not the prettiest game, uh, but definitely uh, you know we've been on the opposite end of that multiple times, so it's it's good to get the two points. Brett, I really thought it seemed like Muskegon had the better of the play, like you said, for the first 25, 30 minutes. It looked like they were winning a lot of 50-50 pucks, too. How did you see it? Yeah, I, I think he just hit the nail on the head. And I think their execution was better as well, um, you know, when the puck was on their stick. Felt like we were skating uphill, it seemed like, for a little bit. And, you know, the message in between the second and third was, you know, we put ourselves in a situation. You can't change what just happened, but, you know, we're in a ball game right now. And, uh, you know, you should be able to show up and... and energy not show up because the guys showed up for sure just have that energy you know and, and the, it had to be something small I talked about the small, snowball effect and you know whether it be winning a draw finishing a hit making a good puck play like our energy had to get up um, you know at the bench and I felt like it, it did and um, you know I'm a big believer you heard me say this for for years and years about you know when you do the right thing and you have energy like that usually you know you got to get a bounce or two and I felt like we did two goals tonight for Kyle Benton what did you think of his game tonight He's good. Like he's he's a powerful skating forward. Uh, you know, he gets rewarded by putting the puck in the net. And we talked a lot about, hey, let's let's deliver last, last night, tonight. Um, you know, he, he's always going to get those rush offense chances. Last night, he, I felt like he created a, a little bit more uh, from a playmaking perspective. Um, but he's a driver, and he was one of the guys like you know continuous energy, um, and that's that's what we need in a guy like that. You touched on Jacob Fowler's game tonight. I, I thought he really held the fort for you in the second and third period. What did you think of your netminder this evening? Yeah, it was terrific. Um, you know, especially the, I felt like the last couple of minutes. In the second, like we said, they, they controlled play quite a bit. Um, and he made some big stops, but I, I felt like those those last two or three minutes, he, he, was, he was making some big ones. Kenta has a big block. We have a couple of big blocks from our D. And, um, you know, you need that. It's a playoff-like game. and. Three and three, it's, you know, it's tough, tough to get through here. Like neither of the teams coming in this weekend thought it was going to be, hey, we're going to walk through uh, and dominate for, for long stretches. So, you know, you expect that up and down a little bit over the course of the weekend. Um, you know, you, you just selfishly as a coach, or you just want more all the time. It doesn't matter. So, tomorrow, uh, that's the expectation. And then I know we talked about it yesterday, before and after the game. Is it different seeing the jerseys on the ice now? And uh, the yeah, maybe like right when they stepped onto the ice, but then it was like, then you don't notice it a ton. Um, you know, the it was it brings back memories, you know, but not memories during the game for me. Um, and like I said, the, the biggest point for me with our guys is they don't know anything about that, and they shouldn't. Is you know the culture that. It's, they're similar. Our culture now to what our culture was, you know, as a player, and what the community means to us, you know, and you know the guys are super excited to be back in town. Um, and my expectation is the the guys in this room right now, ten years down the road, are going to be ecstatic to be back in town doing the same thing. So that's the thing I think a lot about. And then obviously there's there's two significant hockey logos that have been a big part of my life, and, and I guess Youngstown in general. Um, and seeing them both on stage sweaters pretty cool. Thanks, Brett.